Hey, 42 here, far removed from the bright lights of normal human civilization. In some of the darkest recesses of Earth's great expanse are spine-tingling and hellishly creepy places that even the most intrepid of adventurers daren't wander. Here's the seven creepiest places on Earth. First up is Hoyabakia Forest in Romania. This place is like the Bermuda Triangle of forests. The forest is renowned in Romania for its spooky and paranormal happenings. Situated in North Romania, this spooky wilderness has been home to ghost sightings, UFO sightings, disappearances, and faces appearing in photographs that weren't there when the photo was being taken. People who visit the forest often report an overwhelming feeling that they are being watched. Visitors to the forest get unexplained rashes and sometimes fall ill. Electronic devices often refuse to work inside the forest. The locals tell stories of the first ever reported paranormal case in the forest. They claim a shepherd mysteriously disappeared near the forest, along with his entire flock of 200 sheep. But that was only the start. In the 1960s, a biologist named Alexandru Sift, who was studying the forest, took a series of unbelievable photos of a disc-shaped object hovering in the sky above the forest. Again in 1968, military technician Emile Barnet captured another infamous photo of a flying saucer over Hoyer Bakia Forest. There have been numerous reports of people going missing in the forest and many people who visit the forest report seeing otherworldly apparitions. This has led many people to believe that the forest is a portal to another dimension. Next up we go to Japan, for another horrifically bizarre forest. But this one has a bit more of a macabre legacy. Okigahara Forest sits silently at the base of Mount Fuji. It may look harmless, but this one's a biter. Okigahara Forest is known locally as Suicide Forest. That's because every year people travel here in their droves just to commit suicide. Every year over a hundred people commit suicide in Okigahara Forest. Most victims of the forest disturbing a law hang themselves from the tree branches. The worst bit is that the problem's not getting any better. Every year the number of suicides in the forest increases. Annual body searches have to be conducted by police and volunteers to seek out and remove the hundreds of corpses of the unfortunate souls that the forest has claimed. Nowhere else in the world do people so habitually commit suicide by hanging in a single location, at least not in these disturbingly high numbers. This irregularity has led locals to erect signs in the forest, urging people not to kill themselves. The signs contain words of optimism, such as your life is a precious gift from your parents, and think of your family. No one quite knows for sure why this particular expanse of trees is chosen as the final resting place for hundreds of people each year. What on earth compels them to choose Okigahara Forest? Some say it's because of a 1960 novel called Kuroi Jokai, which is about a young lover who commits suicide in Okigahara Forest. Poveglia Island in the Venetian Lagoon, Italy, is said to be one of the most haunted places on Earth. Located only a stone's throw away from the romantic utopia that is Venice, sits an island that is a stark contrast to the captivating eyes of waterbound lovers. Poveglia Island is known as Plague Island, because it was used as a quarantine station for people who had the plague. Over 160,000 plague sufferers were sent to this island to be isolated from society. About 95% of those people never left the island. Because when they died from the plague on the island, which was most of them, they were burned or buried right there on the island. Mass graves were made on the island and thousands upon thousands of corpses were dumped on top of one another and either burned or left to rot. So many human remains were disposed of on this island that the soil is said to consist of 50% human ashes. Perfect for growing turnips, I hear. So yeah, that's disturbing, but there's more. As if this island hadn't seen enough tragedy, between 1922 and 1968, there was a mental asylum on the island. The doctor at the asylum tortured and killed his own patients. He would also conduct horrific experiments on them until he eventually went crazy and killed himself by jumping out of the bell tower of the asylum. Chapels are meant to be places for contemplation and redemption. 
but not this one. Unless you prefer to say your prayers amongst the dead, because this chapel in Portugal is lined from head to toe in human skeletal remains. This chapel, aptly named the Chapel of Bones, contains the bones of 5,000 monks and to top it off there are two bodies hanging from ropes inside the chapel, and one of them is the body of a child. If you happen to have a twisted fetish for human bones, you might also be interested in the Sedlec Ossuary. Similar to the Chapel of Bones, this small chapel in the Czech Republic is covered in human bones. Seriously, why do people keep making things out of bones? I'll tell you why. Because so many people were being buried there that the priests ran out of space, so they decided to decorate the chapel's interior with their bodies instead. Lovely. Oh, they even made furnishings with human bones too. Wooden nails are so overrated. Next to Scotland. This creepy bridge called Overton Bridge is haunted by a mysterious, unknown force that wills dogs to their death. For unknown reasons, hundreds of dogs have spontaneously committed suicide on this bridge by jumping off it. Hundreds of dog owners have reported walking their beloved pet along this 15 meter tall bridge, when suddenly the dog goes crazy and leaps off the side of the bridge without warning. The cases always happen around the same point along the bridge. Over 50 dogs in the past 50 years have taken their own life in the exact same way on Overton Bridge. So what is causing these animals to kill themselves? After all, dogs are usually rather happy little fellas. It's largely unheard of for a dog to take their own life. Is it an evil spirit haunting the bridge? Or does the sight of the bridge just freak them out? In Celtic mythology, Overton is known as the Finn Place, an area where heaven and earth are said to be very close. Some believe dogs are more sensitive to paranormal forces, and if Celtic mythology is correct, this bridge is flooded with both good and evil spirits. However, scientists who have studied the bridge have a more rational explanation. They found a colony of mink that reside underneath the bridge. The mink's powerful anal glands leave scent marks wherever they go, and this smell has proven to be irresistible to dogs during trials. So the most likely explanation is that the dogs are uncontrollably drawn to the enticing scent of musty mink anus below the bridge, and unwise to the dangers of high places, they throw themselves off the bridge in pursuit of the smell, sadly betrayed by their own noses. In Columbia County, Pennsylvania, is a borough called Centralia that is a real, live ghost town. In 1981, Centralia had a population of over 1,000. Today, it has a population of just 10. So what happened? Where did everyone go? Centralia used to be a thriving coal mining community. In 1962, a fire started in a mine beneath the town, which is not good considering the entire town sits on top of a huge vein of coal. The townsfolk tried everything they could to put the fire out, including smothering it with water and even covering it in clay, but it continued to burn regardless. The fire quickly spread to numerous other mines underneath the town. Then the ground all over the town started to collapse due to the immense heat coming from the fire raging away below ground. Pavements started to crack and crumble, houses collapsed without warning and sinkholes appeared in random locations, engulfing buildings and people. The people of Centralia decided that the town was no longer safe to live in, and with no hope of ever extinguishing the fire, everyone left apart from 10 stubborn people who refused to leave. Most of the buildings have either collapsed due to the fire or been left abandoned for nature to take over. Today, Centralia is a near ghost town. The main road which passed through the town has been blocked off because it's too dangerous. Signs have also been erected throughout the town, warning people of the severe dangers posed by the never-ending underground fire. It is estimated that, at its current rate, the fire will continue to burn for another 250 years. Just south of Mexico City, in the middle of a swamp-like canal, sits the creepiest island in the world, named Isla de las Monicas, which translates as Island of the Dolls. This terrifying place is covered in child's dolls, and not the pretty kind either. Nope, this island is decorated with hundreds of horrific, possessed dolls that totally won't hesitate to murder you in your sleep. So the obvious question has to be asked. Why the hell would anyone do this? 
Well, the story goes like this. The island's caretaker and its only inhabitant, Don Julian Santana Barrera, found a little girl in the waters of the island who had drowned under mysterious circumstances. She was found with a doll floating nearby. Julian picked up the doll and hung it from a nearby tree as a mark of respect for the deceased girl. But one creepy doll wasn't enough for Julian. Apparently, the spirit of the little girl haunted him, and to appease the spirit, he started to hang more dolls from trees. Before long, he had covered the entire island with hundreds of dolls. Julian started to believe that all the dolls were possessed by the spirits of dead girls, and this slowly drove him to insanity. After 50 years of collecting and hanging up dolls, Julian was found dead in the water. He had mysteriously drowned in the exact same spot where the little girl's body was supposedly found all those years ago. Some say that the little girl never actually existed, and Julian made up the entire story as a way of coping with his isolation on the island. But no one really knows the truth. Thanks for the view, subscribe for more 42.